Chrissy goes to dashboard.oat.com forward slash onboard grocery, enters the store contact number, clicks on the checkbox that says store uses WhatsApp on this number and clicks share now. Once done, the merchant's WhatsApp will receive a message from OAT official handle. The message would say OAT welcomes you. Create your online store in three easy steps. And he gets a link to start the onboarding process. Merchant clicks on the onboarding link. And the link takes the merchant to dashboard.oed.com wherein it will ask the merchant to fill in the store name, store location, ask whether the store provides home delivery, information about the store closure, if it is shut on Sundays, merchant selects Sunday, store timing, open time, in this case it's from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Here the merchant can select the categories that he would like to host at the store for example vegetables, fruits, groceries and then proceed to account details section wherein the merchant has to fill in the account details along with the IFC code, clicks on next, it then takes the merchant directly to the dashboard wherein the merchant can see the categories that he had selected, the items under those categories are enabled for the sale. The categories that were not selected during onboard process will be set to disabled. Merchant can enable all and disable all to enable and disable the items in that particular category. Merchant can also edit price details of the item, update packaging charge if any and also enter GST charges if any for that particular item. And once he has, he has reviewed the categories and the items, he is all set to take orders. Now that the merchant store is online, he can copy the store URL and share with his customers so that they can go and shop at the store. All he does is clicks on copy store URL and goes to WhatsApp and shares with his customer. The customer now goes to the merchant's shop URL and starts shopping. Customer adds item of his or her choice and places the order selects home delivery or self pickup shares the address for home delivery and proceeds to pay chooses Amazon pay to make the payment among the payment methods and the order is placed 
customer also gets a WhatsApp notification and an SMS notification with the order details. The merchant now gets the orders under the orders tab. Every time an order is placed by a customer, the merchant will be notified by a new order tool and gets populated in the same window. Now the, the merchant can view the items ordered by the customer along with the address for home delivery. Once the customer places the orders, he will also get notification once the merchant accepts the order. Merchant clicks on accept button and enters the preparation time required to package the order and clicks on accept. This triggers a message to the customer stating that your order has been accepted along with the packaging time. Once the order is packaged, the merchant will inform the customer that the order is ready for delivery. And once delivered, customer will go ahead and click on deliver button. The merchant now has to process the next order. He again looks at the number of items ordered. Since this is a takeaway order, no address is populated against this order. The customer will walk in and pick up this order once the order is ready. After reviewing the items, the merchant accepts the order, enters the packaging time, clicks accept. Once the packaging is ready, merchant informs the customer that the package is ready for pickup and they can pick up the order. Once the customer picks the order, he simply clicks on deliver and that order is delivered.